I said what I said I'd rather be famous instead I let all that get to my head I don't care, I paint the town red Bitch, I Hi everyone! So today officially marks day one of my breast augmentation journey. I still can't believe I'm doing this. Like, this is something that I've been thinking about for a very, 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 very long time since I was in high school essentially. But this is something that I thought a lot of and did a ton of research the good and the bad which i will talk about later but i just booked my consultation for the breast augmentation it's supposed to be on monday but i still haven't really confirmed with the office so i'm gonna do that first i'm not gonna do it girl i was just thinking about it but yeah i just wanted to talk about first kind of why i wanted to do it and how i came across actually taking the step of doing it oh my god I literally just got the email. Well, it was an hour ago, but I just read it. That I'm all set for the 18th at 12 p.m. So the reason why I wanted to get it done is because I've always been really insecure about my breast area. I mean, that's how all plastic surgery kind of starts. You know, you start off with an insecurity and you kind of think about it further and further. By the way, this has not been influenced onto me. Like I have been thinking about it for a very, very long time, even before I met other people and stuff like that. And for a long time, I thought I didn't need it. But as I'm growing and as I'm developing into second puberty, I'm realizing that my breast area isn't really growing the way that I want to within good reason. I mean, your body is limited to genetics and things like that. I decided to just go through with it and just get it done. And I have the same feeling that I have about this breast augmentation that I did for going blonde. And I was so scared of that, um, but I'm so glad I did it. And I really feel good about this decision. I have heard about things like breast implant illness and I've researched it in depth and unfortunately it is something that women experience and um, deal with however I do know that it has a higher chance of happening to you if you have the implant inserted wrong or if you choose the wrong type of implant or specific type so I am gonna discuss that with my surgeon as well just to make sure I'm like fully aware of everything that is supposed to happen but Guys, I'm so excited. I literally am just gonna go for a natural look. Like I, the most I wanna do is one cup bigger. And I did read that if you're only gonna go one cup bigger, that it's best to go with fat transfer. But with fat transfer, you don't really get the result. Like it's not guaranteed that you get the results that you want in the place that you want in your body, in your specific breast. So I'm just gonna see what he says. The office that I'm going to is Schaefer Clinic. So I'm going to be meeting with dr david schaefer and i'm literally i'm like so <laughs> i just can't believe i'm getting this done it's also like really expensive and it's something that i'm investing in it's also not like super permanent either like you have to revise your breast augmentation every 10 years i hear um so you know with this consultation i don't know if i'm gonna go fully fully all the way that's what the consultation is for just to see if it's for you um and i'm gonna go through with it but I'm so excited. So I'm gonna hop back on either to talk about like the cons and the pros later on. So you guys can come with me and have kind of that fully aware moment of, okay, this is what's gonna get done. These are the risks. And I'm just like so excited for this journey because I really feel like it's gonna be a new me and my confidence is just gonna rise, so. Okay, Emily, you're all set. Thank you so much for coming to call back. Okay, perfect, thank you. She's super thick, she's super pretty. I literally just confirmed, oh my God, this is crazy. This is crazy. Like, tomorrow is my freaking consultation and I'm trying to draft up a list of questions that I'm gonna ask him. And I actually just announced it to my TikTok around a couple of days ago as well, around the same time that I filmed the first clip of this video. And I just wanna say that I've always experienced being vulnerable on social media. Like that's just my thing. I love being open about things. I love, I love telling people like what I do for beauty and fitness and my struggles and all of that so i had no problem when i was finally ready to be like you know what let me just tell my audience but what i forgot about was the unsolicited opinions about things even though even though i put a shit ton of disclaimers like hey 
this is my body i know the risks thanks for your opinion but i don't need it and people still feel the need in their guts to comment don't do it you're gonna be fine without it don't 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 <laughs> I know I'm beautiful now. I'm going to be beautiful after I'm doing it because it makes me happy. And I think that I thought that was common sense. But as we all know, common sense is not common. And that's why it wouldn't be called common sense, because it would just be a thing that everyone would have. Aside from that, tonight I'm planning on telling you guys kind of everything that I have researched in terms of BII and the risks and everything. And it's a lot more blown out of proportion than I thought like I thought there was actual scientific proof of the complications being related to breast implants and things like that. I'm going to go get ready to make some lamb chops tonight. And then after I eat, I'm going to get right into it and show you guys kind of like the questions that I have for my doctor and all the research that I found and kind of what I'm expecting. Um, I forgot and fell asleep hi everyone so i am back home after the consultation and i enjoyed it so much that i actually booked my surgery for december 5th and i am literally so excited i love the doctor i love his work i like how he answered my questions i like how he made me feel and i didn't really want to spend um, another couple hundred dollars on another consultation if I'm already satisfied with what I talked about with the doctor. So I'm going to tell you guys everything that he told me to expect um, and everything that we talked about. So when I first walked in, I was greeted by uh, one of the people at the front desk. He was super welcoming. I had to sign a couple of forms, which is pretty standard when you first enter the doctor's office. And they had me sitting in this very nice waiting area, like comfy couches, snacks available, to grab and drinks um so i felt pretty welcome one of the people on his team brought me to his office and it was very quick like i didn't have to wait a long time which really surprised me and as soon as i sat down one of the people on his team brought out like the implants i filled up my form dr shaker came out and we greeted each other and it was all really really nice i was really surprised that his energy was very not happy but it was just kind of like uplifting i was kind of expecting a more slower chill feeling to everything but we kind of started straight away he asked me about my medical history and if i'm allergic to anything if i have any complications we went over my natural breast size and kind of like where i was trying to go or what i was trying to achieve i also showed him pictures of what i wanted mine to look like or not look like but kind of just what i'm aiming towards and when we were talking i noticed that he only had the roundish implants and when i was doing research online i saw that there were different types of implants like the teardrop the round um and when i brought this up to him he said that the teardrop implants were recalled meaning that there was like something wrong with them if there were any complications to the teardrop implant then it would cause cancer and things like that so his office does not use that just for a little bit of extra safety precaution which i didn't even realize was a thing because when i was was researching online that didn't come up so that was really surprising so i made sure to stress that i wanted it to look a certain way like i didn't want super fullness at the top i also asked him for the risks and implications and we talked about the ii and he assured me that it was something that was very rare and um if symptoms like that did occur that they would just encourage me to go back to his office so they can kind of see what else is going on um to make sure that it's not the implant directly affecting me as long as i take care of it um super super well during the recovery period like not do any heavy lifting or anything like that then everything should go smoothly but again not everything is guaranteed once i decide to go through with it then this is when they would schedule kind of like a one week before your surgery appointment where you sit down with the nurses and with the doctor and you specifically choose what implants you want, what size. There's like a ton of CCs to go through. And I already know kind of like what I want, which I will talk about a little later. But just to make sure that you get the desired results and the look. Also, before the one week before surgery, at least four weeks before, you need to get cleared by your primary physician using any blood work to make sure that you're okay for the anesthesia. I was told that the surgery actually takes a lot faster than I thought. Um, so you're not on the table for three, four hours. It's a one hour 
or procedure. Basically, you're in and out of there. After, they take you to a recovery room, which everything is on the same floor. You need someone there um, to take you home. They just want to make sure that you're okay and they don't really want you to go home by yourself. Um, so that's gonna be fun very suicidal also in that consultation for figuring out your implant size and what you're getting they also do imaging which they're gonna take like what your breasts look like they're gonna put it on a screen do some technology thing i'm not really familiar with it and they simulate what the breast size would look on you so that's really really interesting what really surprised me was that he told me that after two weeks that i'm going to be able to do work on my legs on my abs and by work i mean like exercise and lifting and i was i was really surprised to hear that patients usually don't experience a lot of pain especially with his method and they can recover quickly if they actually do nothing for the three days that they tell you to just like be in bed but it does um take a while for them to really settle in and like drop and by dropping it's just like when the gravity takes over and they're already settled in and it's healed and they're kind of moving downwards uh towards your body because that's just what they do over time and it might take a couple of months too to really see like the full results i can't believe i'm doing it i'm just so like i'm pretty excited but that was today it went really really well and i'll make sure to keep you guys updated Bitch, I said what I said I'd rather be famous instead 